tonight on the season finale of Old Spirits. Teaming up with West Virginia Paranormal Investigations and Dark Hollow Paranormal, OSI takes on the challenges of the old hospital on College Hill. Within these walls of this imposing structure, there has been life and there has been death. It is now OSI's turn to step inside the old hospital and discover what remains. I really feel like you're trying to... Shh. Just try that thought. <laughs> that was not me. Okay. And there goes my light. Near the border of West Virginia and Kentucky, along the banks of the Tug Fork River, stands the city of Williamson, the county seat of Mingo County. Williamson is home to Southern West Virginia Community and Technical College, as well as the site of a large rail yard built by the former Norfolk and Western Railroad, now Norfolk Southern Railway, built to service the many coal mines of the region. Following devastating floods in 1977 and 1984, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers completed in 1991 a flood wall consisting of floodgates along major access points that creates a solid barrier when locked. This flood wall faced two successful challenges in 2002 and in 2003. The local economy primarily relies on coal mining, transportation, healthcare, and retail businesses but Williamson is now looking into tourism as a potential source of revenue. With the area being steeped in the history of the infamous Hatfield-McCoy feud, Williamson offers numerous trailheads for the Hatfield-McCoy Trails, a popular network for ATV enthusiasts. Additionally, each June, runners from across the United States and around the world gather in Williamson for the Hatfield-McCoy Marathon Weekend, featuring half and full marathons in and around the city. Perhaps one of the unexpected attractions of Williamson sits atop an elevation overlooking the city, the old hospital on College Hill. The Williamson Memorial Hospital, named after Wallace J. Williamson, one of the founders behind the city, opened on March 3, 1928, as a 50-bed state-of-the-art facility. The hospital was built with funds from selling bonds to the business owners of Williamson, all of which were paid off by 1939. Williamson Memorial served as a hospital for 60 years, the basement area hosting the emergency room, radiology department, cafeteria, and labs. The ICU was located on the first floor, obstetrics on the second floor, medical and surgical rooms on the third, and a pharmacy along with additional surgery and examination rooms located on the fourth floor. A popular story from the hospital's history involves a doctor who was fond of a horse he kept on his farm. The horse fell ill and required surgery, so the doctor brought it to the hospital, taking it via elevator to an operating room on an upper floor. The hospital remained in use until 1998, when a new, more modern facility went into operation just up the street. The old hospital was renovated and utilized as physicians' offices for 26 years and then served as a storage facility. Between 2018 and 2019, Williamson Memorial Hospital partnered with the Tug Valley Area CVB to host paranormal tours through the old building during the Halloween season. Almost every tour sold out, as thousands came to Williamson with interest to see this mysterious structure on College Hill. On Halloween night, 2018, guest Sheena Daniels took two photographs at the overlook situated between the old hospital and the closed nurses building. It is believed this apparition could be of a nurse who passed away at the old hospital, but still returns for her shifts. This floating nurse has been spotted on the fourth floor and in the basement, but it was Project Fear who believed they captured her between the two x-ray rooms at the end of the hall on the second floor. The old hospital on College Hill remains a popular destination for paranormal teams, such as Amy's Crypt, Adelaide Haunted Horizons, Paranormal Quest, and many others. 
and now alongside West Virginia Paranormal Investigations and Dark Hollow Paranormal, OSI intends to find out why. Welcome everyone to the finale of season three of Old Spirits. And boy, do we have an investigation for you. I also have a surprise. Phil, unfortunately, was not able to make it for a good film date to get this out in a timely fashion that the algorithm could appreciate. That is why the surprise is another Phil, Philippa. My wife. My <laughs> wife of Infinite Awesome. Hey, baby. Hello. Welcome. This is the first time you and I have uh, helmed, helmed uh, Old Spirits. And the first time on our new couch. Yes. Oh, that's right. We, we moved. That, we moved. If you're curious as to what happened to some of the regular features of the show, we moved. Um, <clears throat> we did. We are in a beautiful home here in Lynchburg, Virginia. It is uh, 100 years old. Well, you're our, you're our uh, researcher. What have you found out about uh, It's a 100-year-old house next year. Uh, it was owned by uh, a family that worked in the local shoe factory, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's in pretty damn good nick for uh, 100 yeah. years old. It, from where Pip is sitting, you can see straight through to the kitchen, and it's just got a nice flow to it. Uh, it's got a lot of granite. I love this house. I've got my editing studio and streaming studio with yeah. my, my little nook. It, it, everything, everything has really been working out very yeah, well. Yeah, and we're house. finally, after nearly two months, down to, you know, double digits of boxes. So that's, yeah. that's pretty good. Progress. It's progress. progress. Yeah. So this investigation, though, has nothing to do with this house. No. But no. it has everything to do with the old hospital on College Hill. Now, this was a uh, big step for you. Yeah. Because before the old hospital on College Hill, there really wasn't an intense place that we took you no, to. No, we'd done sort of Gettysburg locations, and we did Linville, which is a very uh, active but friendly kind of place. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the old hospital <laughs> in Williamson, West Virginia, was quite a step forward. And uh, I feel after doing it that, you know, more intense places are okay for me to visit. Well, you did level up a bit because not only was the old hospital on College Hill, it's got an incredible reputation, as you saw in the history segment. Mm -hmm. But uh, this was your first time where you were actually handling a camera. <laughs> Now, I don't, I'm, not not well. say, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that it's your first time handling the camera. And yeah. and really, this was a new... We, we were trying to really fine-tune how we were filming things with Old Spirits. And you can tell when it works, and you can tell when it doesn't. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, the, the hospital is still an incredible haunted location, so... Are you, you ready know, to go back I'm there? I'm ready. Uh, to go back there? Um, for this episode. Oh, for this, for, episode, for this episode, yes. And the next episode. This is why you're on for the season finale. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, well, I'll start with the preamble of... Thank you in advance for sharing your space with us here. We're not here to make you do any tricks. We're not asking for a performance. We just want to... Want to know uh, that you're here with us and that we're interested in uh, learning more about you and hearing your stories. In particular, we, we know that uh, we've heard stories of someone that spends time on this fourth floor. Birds. And the birds. Those are birds. <laughs> so I'm going to say. Old Hospital on College Hill, fourth floor, surgical suite. All right. I'm going to repeat that. Old Hospital on College Hill, fourth floor, surgical suite. And it is August 22nd, roughly uh, around 8.30. Always got a warm clock. Well, actually, it's 8.24, according to my clock. Thanks for that. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Is there anyone, anyone on this floor who can hear our voices that uh, you wish to communicate?
Idiotic. <laughs> what is my question? <laughs> we know that there's someone a little grumpy up here. Do you all remember Tanner? Or Dakota? Do you all remember Tanner? Or Dakota? Do you all remember Tanner? Or Dakota? Just remember Tanner was the name that came through on the... Uh... That's true. Tanner and Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea's scream came through mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on their, um, their first ever spirit box session, if I remember correctly. Ooh, do you want me to get the portal? I would not say no to that. Okay. Where is the portal? No, you can't. It's just down downstairs. Oh, so you, you're going all the way back downstairs and coming back up? Yeah. Oh, man, you're, you're going to have buns of steel after this, man. I will have buns. I will have the best ass <laughs> ghost hunting has ever known. I will have buns. I will have the best ass <laughs> ghost hunting has ever known. I will have buns. I will have the best ass <laughs> ghost hunting has ever known. That is not just a ghost hunting ass. That is America's ass. That is America's ass. All right. All right. But I will film this while I... While I... Was, that the, the, what, was that the... Wait, was that the... That was the phantom. Oh, that was the phantom. All right. All right, I will be right back. Okay. With the portal. All right. We will be up here. Don't go anywhere. Well, I'll be... Us? Wait, we're, we're going right here. We're, we're, we're staying put. If you hear me scream... Mm -hmm. It's well, okay. I'll be well, get it on camera. Get on camera and I get all your stuff. I have one. I have one. We get all your stuff. So now I get to film my beautiful wife. Oh, you know, maybe I should think the stream would maybe Facebook would like to come with me. Yes, Facebook. Why don't you go with uh, so Phil? Do this here. Yeah, see, this is one of the. So if it goes poorly, Facebook yeah. will get to see it first. There you go. You see, this is this is one of the this is one of the um, this is one of the bonuses of of us streaming on on different devices. All right, we're gonna go out here alone. Wow. All right. Now I will get activate the recording. I feel like all friends right now. That's not recording. That is okay. All right. We'll be right here, Phil. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Wow, it is. Yeah, I know. Country darkness, baby. Country darkness. Yeah, is no. I can't. I can't even see what that is. It's the paratech. I'm frightened to look at that. It's all right. It's all right. We got. We have each other. <laughs> Idiotic, indeed. Yeah. And my foot is quivering. Okay, well, this is. Well, this is this is your this is actually your first like tech heavy I think. Yeah. Um, look. Do you want do you want me to do you want to bring that over here? You know what? I gotta leave this with you. You know why? Why? Because I I'm reliant on your wireless. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't even think about yes. that. Okay. <laughs> the one time I don't bring my hotspot. Oh. I'm going to actually take this with me. Okay, take it with you. Tell me what it said. It said, correct. Oh, correct. What did we ask? We must have said something. Well, make sure to get GhostTube running. Well, I was making a joke about streaming. <laughs> oh, correct. Right. So this is very, um, I gotta admit, this is very, um, uh, almost Project Fear like because Pip is filming me while I'm filming Pip. And, uh, <laughs> am I am I an IR? No, I've got the regular light on you. Oh, okay. oh, so I have a you green... turned this on, so it's on okay. regular. Okay, okay. Did you want IR? Are you, you're on regular. Right? I'm on regular. Uh, you want right. me to do IR? Okay. Yeah. There you go. No problem. We'll go for the IR look, right? I'll still use my green light, but uh... yeah. Uh, infrared is now on. There you go. Okay, let's there see how you're looking on our eyes. I should be looking very black and white. Yeah. Well, we've got the light pointed right at me, so I can't really see much. There you but, go. Uh, so where we are now is on the fourth floor. We are in one of the operating rooms. There's also a nurse too, right? She's supposed to be on the lower floors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? Back. 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 Well, 
Phil is back. It took him a moment, but he's here. Back. Back. Well, Phil is back. It took him a moment, but he's here. Back. Back. Well, Phil is back. It took him a moment, but he's here. Did someone just ground? No. I actually ate something so that my, my okay. stomach wouldn't Can ground. we uh, timestamp that? It's outside. Because uh, I thought okay. I heard a voice of a little girl. I just, uh, I just time stamped it. Thank you. I got it. Content. Or content, depending on. Oh, great, come on. Great content. Why is my phone? <laughs> Did you have an alarm? No, it was an actual phone call. Oh. <laughs> That's why we're gonna go into do not disturb mode. There you go. All there right. You, all right. Hey, let's go. Uh, let's do this. So I, I thought I heard. I is it a hi? I sound like a, I'm dead. <laughs> but I thought I heard again. It was either a female voice or a child voice. If you're with us, can you give us a sign? Not that kind of sign. <laughs> that was my fault. Encounter. Yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, we're open uh, for an encounter. <laughs> That's what we're, yeah. we're looking for a close encounter here. <laughs> That's Phil looking for a close encounter. Yeah. yeah, my name is Phil. And I'm T. I'm Pip. And this is our first visit to the old hospital. Did you want to tell us about your experience here? What's something that happened here with you? What happened? I really feel like you're trying to. Shh. Just try that thump. Do you hear that thump? No. What happened? really feel like you're trying to... Shh. Just try that thump. Do you hear that thump? No. What happened? I really feel like you're trying to... Shh. Just try that thump. Do you hear that thump? This way. I'm gonna mark it. Oh, I, I just my skin just crawled deeply. Mm. Uh, if you're out in the hallway, don't be shy. We would love to. We would love to know a little more about you. Can you tell us why you're angry? Did something go wrong in surgery? Is that why you're angry? Man's voice. It sounded like I said cold or cold. Which cold adds up. Missing. I heard cold. What's missing? I'm going to need to box, guys. I feel like I need to put it there. All right. Go for it. There's, yeah, I'm not here. Did you bring the tracer? I did bring tracer. I did bring tracer, but I want to make sure. 
Yeah, I mean, if we want, we can move. We can move out of here into the hallway. I'm feeling like there's nothing in here. I I would I would pref, I would prefer. I would prefer if we moved into the hallway. You want to move into the hallway? Because I just don't think there's anything here. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling the hallway as well. Okay, let's. Things. We're coming out into the hallway. Just to, uh, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll lay out tracer in the, in the hallway. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm feeling, uh, feeling something out there. Okay. All right. Jeez. Translate. Translate. I'm getting a little vibe. That's that's how I'm translating. Whoa. What was that? What was that? That's not that uh, REM pod hits. REM pod hits. I see what you did there. All right, hang on. I just heard it's me. It's me. It's me. That's what I heard. I'm going to bring that. There's a creep that's hiding, okay. but. Can you uh, make those lights go off again to let us know that we're not alone out here? Is that your side? Yeah, that was me. Okay, sorry. It's a T side. It's a T side. Oh, you're setting up the tracer. Yes, I am. This time, tracer. I don't know where to look. There's too many things to look at. In trouble. Who's in trouble? Oh, that's pretty. How's it work? Uh, white light means it's movement based. So white light means that was probably the tracer. Uh, no, I heard another guy. I don't know. Like a rumble. Yeah, like a rumble. Could have been the train. There is a train pass. There's a train. No. So if okay. you see the white light, that means it's detective movement, and then it goes. I just it. heard a voice again. You know what? For fun, let's go lights out. Okay. We're going lights out. Okay. We're going lights out. Okay. Okay. We're going lights out. Can you come up to that red light at the end of the hallway? So the theory I have is mm. if the wind clock goes off, then watch where the trace will go off. And if the trace goes off, then we should, we should hear the music box go off. True. <laughs> Are we bothering you? We're not asking you to do any tricks. I mean, maybe you don't even know how to use these things. I don't know, surgeons are pretty smart. Is there a surgeon here? I need to go. Before you go, 
Can you come a little closer to us? Just come up to that red light. <laughs> Just let us know you're here. Is that like it's right here? Oh, see a little bit. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I heard it say go. I'm going to come right here. And if you want to let me know that you're here by touching me, I'm just going to stand <laughs> with my back to you. I just heard a footstep off to the left. All right. If you're, if you're going to do it, go for it. In danger. Phil? Take a few steps ahead. Yeah, I was actually starting to get the Peter tingle pretty good. Just <laughs> we got we got a REM pod hit. A REM pod hit. Wow. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to come back over there? Can you light up all the lights if you want me to come back over there? Are we frightening you? I'll tell you what, if you're trying to frighten us, move beyond that red light. Walk a little closer to us. How about to that blue light? So you're not trying to frighten us? Do you like games? I thought I saw a, a shadow, but it was up high. Do you like games? Virtue. All right, I'm going to come back in here with my back to you. In fact, I'll stand a little closer this time. I'm going to stand right here. I think that's one. You're going to take two steps forward, Phil. Yeah. Take two steps forward. And then two steps back? No. Let's play a little game. First, the first thing we got to do is find out if you're here to play with us. Oh, I, they're here. Oh, they're here. They're here. My game is going to be, how can you come up to me more quickly than I can get to that door? And I'll go when I hear you make that REM pod beep. Because I know you know what a REM pod is, because you've had people here before. So I'm going to count to three, okay? And on three... You make that REM pod beep, and then I'll move. And then if you can touch me on the back before I get to that door, you win. Sound good? Let's see, go. <laughs> no, I go on beep. <laughs> I go on beep. All right. I'm a beep. Three. Two. One. That was not me. No, it wasn't. That was not me. Oh, okay. I think, uh, I think I won, though. Yeah, I think they changed the rules on you, though. You changed the rules, though. You're supposed to make the... <laughs> sophisticated. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I want to try that again. We'll try that again. I think... And if you want... I think you want to bring... ready. Yeah, if you, yeah, it sounded like ready. You want to bring the line up just a little bit now? So you have a little light? No, I'm good. You good? I'm okay. Just, I'm shooting an art. Do you want, do I have, well, film my I'm saying you have all the funds. All right, come back here. Oh, okay, T's okay. gonna go out there now. All right. Okay. See how, how much of a good game player he is. Look, he's wearing scrubs, too. Oh. You ready right. to scrub not, it, Mr. Morris? Not to be offensive. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my back. <laughs> it said go again. <laughs> okay, on three, make any of those devices go off. 
One, two, three. What's the matter? You don't want to play with Gene? Maybe. It's the scrubs, isn't it? Yeah, it's a you don't care for the scrubs. Okay. Well then, okay. Why don't you just uh, go on ahead and walk back to the uh, to the red light? No, you need to step back that way. Step back that way. Get on some space. Oh my gosh! Hey, I heard something come through the portal that sounded like the music box. Hmm. And there was a location that Project Fear went to where they heard the music box. Um, like a different device. when the music that, that was that was crescent that was crescent that was crescent that was crescent we were talking about crescent. oh 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 rem pod hit oh, 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 oh. okay you want me to back off Run. walk towards the blue light walk towards no walk towards the blue light and make me make me back off ceiling T look up is there anything on the ceiling I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking <laughs> okay this that shadow is me you want what you want a piece of me? That is not me antagonizing. That is not me antagonizing. I just want to know if, uh, if there's something something that you want you want from me. If you want me to back off, you gotta you gotta go up to the blue light. The uh, the REM pod is Phil's the REM pod's Phil thing. The blue light is my thing. No. 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 It's out like north. What if I ask, please? Because you're right. I'm in the south. I should know my manners. If you want me to back off, you gotta you gotta go up to the blue light. The uh, the REM pod is Phil's the REM pod's Phil thing. The blue light is my thing. No? No. It's out like north. What if I asked please? Because you're right, I'm in the south. I should know my manners. If you want me to back off, you gotta you gotta go up to the blue light. The uh, the REM pod is Phil's the REM pod is Phil thing. The blue light is my thing. No. No? No. It's out like north. What if I asked please? Because you're right, I'm in the south. I should know my manners. If you want me to back off, you gotta you gotta go up to the blue light. The uh, the REM pod is Phil's the REM pod is Phil thing. The blue light is my thing. No. 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 It's out like north. What if I ask, please? Because you're right. I'm in the south. I should know my manners. If you want me to back off? You gotta you gotta go up to the blue light. The uh, the REM pod is Phil's the REM pod is Phil thing. The blue light is my thing. No. No? It's out of light and power. What if I ask, please? Because you're right, I'm in the South. I should know my manners. As you hear in the recording, this no we captured is none of us. Pip, Phil, and myself have all confirmed it isn't any of us echoing the portal. And we are the only three people on the fourth floor at this time. Additionally, WVPI and Dark Hollow are all on the first floor, far from where we are. And across all these recording devices, you can hear the perspective of our voices against the captured no. What do you think? Did we catch a defiant EVP or something else? Let us know in the comments below. You're not going to go up to the blue light for me? Even if I ask uh, nicely, please. I'm gonna swap out this battery. Uh, no. Oh, oh, oh. You right? Yeah. You just, you, uh, I, you, sorry, I, I thought you were on my left side, but oh. I heard the voice from the right. Uh, secretary. Oh, there's a secretary up here. Did you hear that? I am. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Never felt.
Phil says I have an idea. I always get a little, I get a little nervous. Do you want to put the, some motion lights at the very far end in the other room? What do you think? I mean, you can, sure. Yeah. All right, I'm going to come into your room for just a moment. Okay. Stop. What's that? Stop. What stopped? What does it mean when the blue light's all the way at the end now? That just means it's it's uh, it's it's ready. Okay. Bye. So when you walk by, when you walk by it, that's me. Did that just say pip? Um, that just went yeah. That just went off to right, fill. I'm coming back here. You just keep an eye on looking this for me too. I think what? it stopped recording. Yeah, it did stop recording. Just to hit record again. Just hit the record button again. There you go. Coming back here. I hope you're okay with me being back. Dice. What did it say? Dice? Dice. Oh, did you like to play dice? Oh, we didn't bring any dice. That's me dragging a chair. Yeah, okay. I apologize. <laughs> yes, I know. Terrible. It's not the same <laughs> thing you to hear back there. When you walk to sit now, you, now you, you see what you did there, Phil? What? When you walk by the uh, the tracer, you'll see what you do. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh. It's basically it's basically showing you. Uh... Got it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna change my battery. What is that? Uncle. <laughs> Sound like Uncle. Lunch room. Lecture. Lunch room. Lunch room. Lunch. Room. Which is the lunch room up here? Are you talking about the break room with the uh, shower? All right, and then after I change this battery, to, yeah. uh, you can uh, drop the light level on that. All right. Okay. So now we got the motion lights back there. What I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard that was. All I heard was that was. All right. Sounded like a woman. Now, I would appreciate it if you didn't suck this battery dry. <laughs> Watch yourself. You're right near my uh, H4. Okay, I see it. Okay. All right, I tell, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back here to you. Into this space. All right. And... I'm going to take this music box with me. All right, I'm coming back here. Okay. Are you okay with me being down here? Are you scared? Um, no, I'm not scared. Should I be scared? I mean, you're not coming very close to me. So I don't feel like I have much of a reason to feel scared. Do you want me to feel scared? I'll tell you what, if you want me to feel scared, why don't you make the music box go? Seeing like a blackness go over the top. Okay. At the back. I can remember that. Very real. I feel like there's more than just one person here with us. I 
Are you attached to the land? Are you attached to the hospital? You're hearing a lot of movement in this room to my left. Is there someone we can talk to to help you out? Is there a doctor we can reach out to? Are we talking to one of the doctors now? Okay, I've got movement over here. Did you hear here? Like, like, like tapping. Are we talking to one of the doctors now? Okay, I've got movement over here. Did you hear here? Like, like, like tapping. Are we talking to one of the doctors now? Okay, I've got movement over here. Here, here. Like, like, like tapping. Now you're not, uh, you're not playing fair because you're not letting us know you're here, except for the odd noise or two. I don't, I don't want to give a lot of uh, credence for just random taps, but... That's what I was kind of getting at, too. Yeah. You know, I... I we could, we'd like to see you or, or hear you. Oh, there you go. I like that motion light. Thank like you. The motion light. So I'm not convinced that that's not me setting off that those lights down there, guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to adjust them. Okay. <laughs> And I can, I can, uh, that's me. That's you. Okay, so I don't think I'm setting off this one. <laughs> Since I walked all the way up to it and it didn't go off, but this one on the other hand, I think is, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Well, you know, there are several ways you can let us know you're here. You've got that, uh, that's me. You've got that. You've got that. You've got that REM pod down pat. Yeah. Oh, just like that. And you just yeah. Just like that. But there's also that uh, that blue light over there. I wouldn't say no if you had that. Uh, if you stepped up to that blue light, and just you can just step step up to that blue light and step back. It'll just let me know that uh, that you're out there with us. What time did they want us to meet downstairs? Uh, nine. We've been up here for an hour. All right, it's nine now. It's nine now. You want to wrap it up? At this point of the evening, we joined West Virginia Paranormal Investigations and Dark Hollow Paranormal in the basement of the old hospital to begin what JJ called the horror movie experiment. The idea being, as seen in movies like Friday the 13th and Hereditary, Members of the cast would be picked off, leaving only one standing at the finale. After a quick investigation of a floor, team members would draw lots, and whomever drew Skull and Crossbones would remain on that floor to run a solo investigation. For OSI members, we will be releasing a full version of this exercise sometime in November. In the basement, JJ found himself the victim of his own experiment. On the first floor, Vanessa would remain alone. The remaining team members now head to the second floor, where the experiment continues. That, does, <laughs> that really does seem wrong. I can do that. Oh my god. No <laughs> wonder they left their baby. <laughs> I would be that baby on the chair. I mean, it's 
and you're putting this on. I'm putting this on uh, on on half um, <coughs> half uh, sensitivity. What is that? This is a spike. Uh, this one measures EMF. Ghost Top, I'm, a, I'm, I'm like the James Bond gadget guy. Ghost Top makes these, and they've got three of these. They've got the EMF version, they've got a sound version for EVPs, and they've got a third one for temperature. Okay. And I went with this one. And what's great about it is, drips. instead of you Hot. going to the EMF, the EMF comes to you. Oh. Well, Put it right uh, it when it builds up an EMF charge, it should light up with a color. Okay. And that's how that works. And the little blips are just natural fluctuations? Natural right? fluctuations. Natural fluctuations. Alright. Right. Anyone mind if I kick it off? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, how you doing? We are excited to be here. My name is T. My buddy Phil's back there. Scott, I believe, is in front of me, and my wife Pip is getting some creepy shots of a baby's head in the uh, in the other room. You want to tell us who you are? My name is T. My buddy Phil's back there. Scott, I believe, is in front of me, and my wife Pip is getting some creepy shots of a baby's head in the uh, in the other room. You want to tell us who you are? My name is T. My buddy Phil's back there. Scott, I believe, is in front of me, and my wife, Pet, is getting some creepy shots of a baby's head in the, uh, in the other room. You want to tell us who you are? While we were initially excited about this find, further analysis of the voice, particularly when we heard thank you clearly, revealed that this was in fact Vanessa on the first floor. The stairwell we would discover later on in the footage review carries voices effectively and efficiently from the floors above and below a team's current location. This EVP is officially debunked. There are different ways that you can talk to us up around here. And we'd love to know if you're here with us or not. If I'm too close, you can, uh, you can also let me know, either with a device in my wife's hand, or on any of the devices on here, on the ground. Oh, the uh, EDI just spiked. Oh, Eddie, with a white, white light. White light? Yeah. What's the white light, T? There is no white light. I swear it was a white light. <laughs> <laughs> white underneath. It, it, it could be. There a blue one. Could also be, yeah, the blue one is a natural fluctuation. When it beeps, it's a 2-5. You said no. You said no? Well, it's not like we're trying to make you play tricks or, you know, perform for us or anything like that. We just want to, um... Why? Why? Well, we want, yeah, we want to hear your story. We're storytellers. Not there, Phil. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. What? Not there. What? <laughs> there are a lot of stories around this place, but we'd like to hear some of them from you to know if they're true. Not necessarily the ones that deal with death. Yeah, there's a lot of life brought into the world. We would love for you to show us. Was that all white light right there? I just feel like I just saw a white light over there. Is that you? Did you turn on the white light? 
pretty impressive. I didn't think it had a white light, but. Uh, Maybe do it again. Tell you what, I'll make it a little easier for you. So I've got this little device in my hand. Oh, by the way, if you get near these lights, that's, this is what they do. I'm gonna leave this here. And you can, well, yep. that's, two, that's two F, that's two, yeah. that's two, that's one. <laughs> get, get a little bit of the, a little bit of the tinglys. Oh, just the puck just went off again back there. Ooh. And again, Ooh. yellow. Okay, that yellow light right there, Scott, basically means it's two five. If it goes higher, it's an orange, which means it's five. It's in the red. It's, seven, it's either seven five or a ten, and that's Pips. <laughs> I just heard movement behind me. Okay. You're welcome to touch I'm my trying. back. If you want I'm to trying. Get and you're doing a great job. You are doing a fantastic job. If we need to give you more space, just let us know, and we'll back off. But you're okay. you're doing great in there. Thank you. Again, we're not here to make you play party tricks or any, do, do party tricks or anything. We're here to find out your story. Are you part of the hospital staff? Are you a nurse? I'm just getting a little closer, if you're, if you're okay with that. If you're not, let me know. I'll back off again. I understand nurses are very dedicated people. And some people say that there's a nurse up here it hasn't stopped working. We would love to know your name. Ooh, yeah. I was seven five at least. Thank you so much for working with us, for, for talking to us. We really appreciate it. <laughs> was your favorite thing as a nurse? Was it, to, was it to bring life into the world? What's that one she doing? That's measuring EMF. It just, it just spiked up to, um, it, it, it just spiked up into the yellow, which means it's, yeah, that right there is like seven five, I'm guessing, or five, easily a five. We would really love to know your name. Everyone calls you the nurse up on this floor, but that seems a little cold. A little impersonal. A little impersonal. I think, I think the nurse agrees with you. <laughs> well, my wife has a device in her hand. She's holding it up right there in her hand. Yeah, you see it? You can uh, tell us your name through that. There's a lot of names in here. There's a little boy called Timothy downstairs. Do you know Timothy? Maybe he doesn't come up here. <laughs> so, oh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I have a question. Uh, there, were some, there were some nice people that were here a while back, and there were four of them. Four, four very nice people who came here and are doing what we're doing right now. Um, they were, yeah, okay, so you might remember them. Um, they were, they were saying you were warning them about something on the fourth floor. Is the thing on the fourth floor still there? Sure. 
Should we stay away from the fourth floor? What was that noise? That was that was her EMF reader, and then this EMF reader yeah. spiked up into yellow. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Not red, but real close, like seven five. The high, the higher, the higher the beat, the, the 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 more strong the EMF. Pip was telling me a, a sad story about, I believe it was a a nurse that was an employee here, and she wrapped up her shift, left the hospital, and then not long after, came right back to this patient because she had gotten into an accident. And she uh, passed away. Did you know? Did you know this nurse? I think it's popping right now. Yeah, it is. The thing I like the most about these, Scott, is that again, it's stationary. So. Whatever it is, it has to come to it to trigger it. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy when people visit you? I'll say this floor does seem to have the most kind of a serene yeah. energy to it. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> that sounded that sound like a, uh, a walkie-talkie. Okay, got a free man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ACLA, so I'm seeing if this. Did you want us to back off a little bit? Are we, we're not crowding you, are we? If we're crowding you, 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 you can let us know. It's actually getting warmer back here. Mm. Were you proud as a nurse? Were you proud of the work you did here as a nurse? Whoa. You see. I just thought I heard something click over here. That might be me. Oh, okay. I'm in this. Here, try that. Hold on. Uh. Okay, is it, uh, yeah, I know. I know, you're right. I, uh, my Where device can, here, can you? my <laughs> device here is kind of locked up. Do you mind if I step forward? If you, if you make that beep again, I'll step forward and fix it. But if you don't want me to touch it, I'll stay right here. Okay, I'm coming closer. Don't mind me. It's getting warmer as I get closer. Hmm. Should have brought the flare. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just, I, I was getting a vibe from that room. Yeah, yeah. Derek. 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 Oh my gosh. Uh, just. Trapped. What's that? Derek Trapped. So, one of the names I saw when I was coming around the bend, yeah. going up the mountain, was Derek. Wow. Oh. I wonder if he was treated here. I mean, granted, there hospital. are probably a lot of Derricks that probably came to this hospital. Yeah, but it's going to be a little Is Derek your name? Or the name of someone you treated here? Yeah. Yeah, Derek, Derek Rao or Roe, I'm not sure how to pronounce. His last name, uh, but lost his life in a car accident uh, coming up the mountain. Mm. 
may have been going a little too fast for the bend and uh, Ooh. That was a seven. That was a seven five at least. And there's a lot of crosses on the side of the road. You probably treated a lot of uh, all the folks that have been in accidents. I would imagine that's the hardest part of this job, isn't it? The mining accidents, the automobile accidents, that type of trauma. It's hard, isn't it? The guy that was on fire. That's right. That's, that's, that's right. There's a guy that was on fire. Yeah. Did you say hide? Hide now? Are you hiding or do you want us is to that, hide? <laughs> is, is someone coming that we should be hiding from? I just heard I just heard Eddie beep again. Do we need to hide? Is everything okay? Or is something wrong? If something's wrong, can you can you push either one of these up to red? Something's wrong. Push that push that device all the way up to red. I know you can do it. Please. If not, if everything's okay, we're fine. Orange. Mm, try it. Wow. Yeah. Man. All right. So, uh, Ooh. a couple of us are going to have to. Roll on out of here in a minute. Yeah. Do you want us to leave? Someone's going to stay here with you, though. Will you look out for them while they're here? I'll take that as a. I'll take that as a positive. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. It was a strong EMF. Yeah, strong maybe. Okay. Okay. I picked. I picked first time for us. So right. That's your turn. Let's right. find this bag. Here. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get a white bag next time you see it in the dark. All right. All right. So going in. Okay. So wait and see if it goes to red. I want to leave. You can go up the next floor. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's down to you and me? All right. Circle. I guess I'm staying put then. Oh, no, wait. No, no you're not. Well. Could be one of you two. All right. Go ahead and so, pop yours and we'll know. All right, Phil. Do you mind uh, holding that? No. Uh, oh, here we go. Smile. Feel like a skull across my eyes. So we're staying on two. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to go with th to three with for whoever wants to go to three. <laughs> you want to leave me alone on two? You're welcome to join us. <laughs> <laughs> T, if, do you want to? I think this floor is all right. Yeah, I think it'd be all right. The nurse seems to fancy you. Okay, well, guess what? Uh, I, keep, I keep tracer. Just keep that one. You keep tracer. No, I need tracer up on the third floor. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, it, it, is her, it is her birthday gift. Well, yeah, you, you may have my to, gift. You guys may have to switch over to regular Wi Fi because. That's uh, alright. I can't. Eh. Oh, that worry. Alright. Right. Well, guys, good luck. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, right? So, so I'm, 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 I'm saying put right here, huh? Yeah. I'm saying put right here. Well, T, your wife is, your wife is leaving you. I don't like being left alone because if something does happen, I can't corroborate it. There's a change in pressure. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, there's. Yeah. I see, I see you over there. It's okay. You know, um, somebody here said to my wife, Ooh. 
somebody said to my wife that uh, they needed to go. And I just wanted to say that um, I, you can't come with us. We're just visiting. We're just visiting. But if you see a light, not necessarily a red exit sign, but if you see a light, a bright light, try going that way. That might be where you need to go. I'm just going to say it, chat. I'm just going to say it. Um, Tanner, Alex, Chelsea, and uh, um, and Dakota, they make this look easy. They make this look super easy. You're okay with him being here, right? Well, there's some big, big EMF hits back there. The higher the, the what I said earlier, the higher the tone, the um, the higher the tone, the the stronger the EMF. And there's a lot of EMF going off over there. Strong EMF. I love the fact, Chet, I do love the fact that, um, that, uh, I was supposed to be here with Pip, and she ditched me. <laughs> My own wife ditched me. <laughs> what do you think of that? My wife taking off like that? I thought I heard from this direction a moaning sound. Something sounded like, ooh, ooh. Okay. Well, you know, something I don't mind, I, I don't mind somebody being here, but you know, um, I've got somebody watching out for me. My dad is here with me.
didn't know I was going to have my backpack here. So, so yeah, so, um, so because my, my, uh, I usually carry dad in my backpack. Oh, wait, there is another gadget I have. I just remembered it. I finally recall that I have in my bag a FLIR camera. FLIR stands for Forward Looking Infrared, and here at the old hospital, I am using my FLIR on the left hallway as Fast Eddie and Edison are working on the right, where the nurse had been previously spotted. I just heard a very high pitched beat down there. That could have been a full 10. I hear Vanessa downstairs. So I made it to the second floor, not bad. Oh, pressure change. An EMF hit. Thanks for keeping me company. And thanks for being so encouraging here. It's, um, it's great. Okay, there's a glare in the center of that, uh, well, I, want to, I want you to notice something here. You see that? There's a single source of, of warmth. It's a single source of warmth. Right, uh, hang on a minute. See, it's right there. Cold spot in the center, but there's a single warm spot. And I don't, I can't see what's making it over there. Now it's warm all around the edges, but then again, I'm going to swing back over here to EMF Central. Temperature's gone up at least three degrees since we've been here. Whew. I got all the gadgets working now, chat. <laughs> And it's not the IR light. The IR light's over here. Yeah. That's the IR light for the camera. The life of me can't figure out what's causing that, that spot.
okay. And there goes my light. There's a train. It would seem, everyone, it would seem that, oh wow, one minute left on this battery. So it would seem that, jeez, um, uh, for Pete's sake, this is like a this is like a horror movie waiting to happen. All right, thank you. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I understand now why. flashlight ever. Okay. So what happened? Yeah. My light just went out. <laughs> okay, this is where this is where everything this is where everything goes wrong. This is where everything goes wrong, chat. <laughs> okay, so, so I got plenty of battery life on this, so that's good. But I'm about to lose my camera, so I'm going to quickly uh, swap battery uh, life out of this. So hold tight, everyone. Hold tight. Really? Jeez.
the spike down the hallway has seized up again. I don't really feel like changing it now. <laughs> I don't mind saying I'm starting to get a little, a little unnerved, a little freaked out. I, I don't like solo investigations. I don't like to make me a little uncomfortable. And after, and that's just me watching them. It's my first. But you've been very kind. You've been very, very kind, and I appreciate that. Thanks for watching over me. Uh, if I if I'm gonna do a, if I'm going to do a, a first time investigation, uh, a first time um, solo investigation. Uh, I'm okay with it being here with you. I'm not. I'm on the floor with the nurse. And as much as I should be pissed at my wife, I gotta admit I'm proud of her because I did not expect her. I did not expect her to step up like that and say, oh yeah, I want to go to the third floor. Granted, if she and Phil got stuck on the fourth floor, that's on her. I have paused the camera in order to show you this detailed rendering from the FLIR. You can now see the camera stand and the doorway. Perspective is now represented. This heat source does not appear to be the window at the end of the hallway. From this perspective, it appears to be in the open doorway between me and the end of the corridor. What do you think? Is this strange heat source lingering in the doorway? Or is this merely a trick of perspective? Let OSI know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you still up here with me? I know the one device has kind of conked out on you again, but I, I'm beginning to wonder if you're just working it a little too hard. Are you, uh, but the other device, the orange box there, you can talk to me through that. Did you want to let me know if you were here? You're still with me? You know, watching all that footage reminded me of how intense that place was. And, and we haven't even gotten to the intense I know, stuff. it That's gets more two. intense yes. in part two. <laughs> but just watching the, the footage back, uh, yeah, it's it's brought back some memories. I especially love Phil's expression. <laughs> oh, you mean you mean the uh, when when the music box went off and yeah, he gives that great yeah. old face? Yeah, it's it's great for uh, a YouTube well, uh, yeah. thumbnail. I might use it. Uh, <laughs> but so, uh, so let's talk about that corridor. Mm -hmm. And let's address the 800 pound specter in the in the hallway. We're talking about the voice. Uh-huh. We picked through that footage you me, and Phil. We went through it over and over and over again, we have deduced that was not you responding to the portal. That wasn't me, obviously. No. Now, what definitely wasn't Phil. Phil, Phil, no. Phil claims he can go into that falsetto. As talented as he is, I'm sure he can. But that there were he only, didn't do it that time. <laughs> no, there were only three of us on that floor. Yeah, we have confirmed it. There were only three of us on that floor. But that that was an incredible EVP that we caught. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering whether it was like mocking us, maybe? I don't know. Um, it, it, well, it was responding it to was me. Responding, it was but... responding to me, telling it to do something. Yeah. So it could have been mocking, it could have been just doubling down and going, no, you know? <laughs> <coughs> it, it didn't seem to enjoy our presence very much up there, I think. The fourth floor, I remember having a bit of tension, something we're gonna go into. Yeah, we're gonna go back in, to. Yeah, we're gonna be going back to in the, in, the, in the second half. 
as far as the second half also, that is where you're actually going to see what happened after Pip and Phil left me on the second floor. And let's talk about me being left on the second floor. I, first off, big shout out to West Virginia Paranormal. Yeah. Really nice people, West Virginia Paranormal Investigations. Great to work with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were the ones that brought us into Crescent. Mm -hmm. They were the ones that were with us through all of this in, um, in Williamson, West Virginia. <clears throat> but I want to be a little, I'm going to be that guy. I oh, hate no. to say it, I'm going to be that guy. I love the idea, the concept of what JJ called the Friday the 13th experiment. Oh yes, yes, yes. The biggest problem though, and I don't know if they took that into consideration when we were doing it, mm. but could you hear Scott above you and me underneath you? I was, well, I was so tense during that stay. I, I wasn't necessarily loud, but did you all hear me or Scott above you? So it was interesting how the hospital was laid out. It had a big central uh, staircase that went up all the floors. Mm -hmm. And then of course on each floor you had corridors radiating out in straight lines. So there was a bit of echo that yeah. went through from top to bottom really. Right. But I don't think that Phil and I uh, sort of encountered too much uh, contamination from other people. but. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get to that floor, won't we? <laughs> <coughs> yes, we will. And <laughs> the other thing is that even with the contamination, there was still a lot of activity. Mm -hmm. For one thing, I can tell you from previous experiences, the highest I've ever seen Edison spike on the EMF spike from Ghost Stop was maybe 75. We got several tens. I've never heard a tone that high other than the old hospital. And the interesting thing was that in the old hospital, there's not that much electricity. No. Uh, no. There's one room that had uh, air conditioning in it and we weren't on any, that wasn't on the floor with the nurse. So I can't really see what would be causing it to spike so high like that. Nor could I uh, account for why there was so much movement. Mm. Even when I was by myself on the second floor, I heard a lot of thumps. They didn't sound like you all stomping upstairs, but <clears throat> even when we were on the fourth floor at the beginning, we were hearing thumps, we were hearing knocks, we were hearing uh, taps. But when you're on the floor all by yourself, yeah, and it's as quiet as we remember it being quiet, yeah. there was a there was a, a definitely a stillness to the to the place. From my recollection, <clears throat> uh, you were on one side of the floor, and we were on the other side and a floor up, mm -hmm. so. You wouldn't, you, I don't think us walking around at all would have been your side, would have affected your side. Absolutely. While the EVP that we caught on the fourth floor was pretty amazing, I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about whatever was coming on the FLIR yeah. on the second floor. So now that you've seen it, what are your thoughts? I mean, we, we talked about whether it was um, some sort of IR light being reflected and some sort of reflective surface but there wasn't any reflective surfaces up there there weren't any mirrors or you know even shiny doors or anything and the when I took the camera to the other side that heat spot yeah. still remained that was one of the reasons why I wanted to show me panning the camera to the right then panning it back over to the left well what I found even more interesting is <clears throat> when you look at the close-up still frame that I have mm -hmm. That source of heat appears appears to be in the doorway. It does not appear to be in the at the end of the hallway no. where there was a door and there was a window on it, but it wasn't it wasn't marked as an exit, so it wasn't a legitimate exit. No, at first I was like, are you <coughs> picking up the um, the exit sign? But it was actually the door on the on the side. other side, and it was also when you look at that still shot, it's um, too sort of low. it's too low. Yeah, it's low. It's, it's uh, like halfway up uh, right. the door frame. And it looks like it's actually in the middle of the, of the doorway. Mm. And there is a reveal in part two, but concerning that heat spot. And I'm going to save that. So if you don't want to miss part two of what I'm going to reveal about that heat spot, you're going to have to like this episode and then make sure you subscribe to the channel with 
notifications enabled so you don't miss whenever we put up a brand new piece of content, be it something like an investigation, something like a five minute paranormal, or just a live event where we'll be streaming from who knows where, maybe somewhere in Lynchburg. <laughs> of course, if you really, really want to help support the channel, you too can become a member of Old Spirits Investigations. And when you become a member, you get exclusive looks behind the scenes, get to see what sort of weird shenanigans uh, Phil and T get up to. Uh, you also get exclusive uh, photos and you're helping us out in ways you can't possibly imagine and help this channel grow. Another thing too to keep in mind about the membership is we will be releasing for members only the entirety of the Friday the 13th experiment hosted by West Virginia Paranormal. Uh, you'll get to see everything that happens on the basement, first, second, and third floor. That could have been an episode in itself, yeah. but I just wanted to focus on some of the wild and weird things that we experienced here. But thank you all so very much for joining us for part one of our season finale. Make sure to join us next week for part two. And from all of us here at Old Spirits Investigations, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field. Not bad. <laughs>